a tip about the radial falloff deformer. So over here I have a plane that has been subdivided multiple times. When I select it and go to deformers, add falloff deformer, and for instance a radial deformer, and it's rather big right now. I'm going to click add selected to my schematic, double click to get my plane in here. So now, right now, I have a radio fall off. When I move this, it deforms the plane. Control Z to undo. I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to, I have my radio fall off selected. Then I'm going to resize this and click this icon to activate all three at once and make it smaller like that. Now it fits inside my plane so when I select the fall off now it won't deform everything. So this is my radial fall off, Ctrl Z to undo and with my radial fall off now I'm going to add a texture to modulate the fall off so with it selected right click on it and I'm going to create an item mask and now when I go to my shader tree so shading I have my effects over here when I expand it I have my radial fall off and now I can add a texture layer for it is I'm going to hide this for a moment so add a layer texture cellular for instance now when I move my fall of deformer, see it's a bit different than original, but the dimensions of my texture are probably a bit big. So in my shading tree, I'm going to the texture tab. I can also click on a plus sign and select cellular texture over here, or with cellular selected, go to the texture tab in my size. Click this icon to make all three active and decrease my size a bit like that. You see that now the fall off is deforming my plane with a cellular texture applied to it. So when I move my fall off now, you see it gets completely different results than with only the fall off deformer. So this could be interesting way to create mountains or something like that. Anyway, a fall off deformer with a texture applied to it. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.